Today we're talking all about AI and music and a company called SoundRaw. So if you want to know who they are and what they do, then stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So if you are looking to improve upon any of those skills, get the latest product reviews, and even learn about music business, then make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell because you'll never miss a new video when it comes out. So without further ado, today we are talking about SoundRaw. And SoundRaw is a AI-generated music service. And the music that it generates is 100% royalty free. So that's definitely key there. Now we're gonna discuss throughout this video all the different use cases for it. But before that, I wanna mention right off the bat here, I have a link in the description below where you can sign up for a plan with SoundRaw. And I also have a coupon code in there. Now it's a limited time. So if you want SoundRaw, it's probably good to get it now. It's gonna get you 10% off any of the plans, all right? So in this video, we're gonna discuss what the plans have to offer, their pricing. I'm actually gonna make a beat in here and then we're gonna modify it. And that's another cool thing about SoundRaw is that you don't have to stick with what it initially creates. You can make modifications to it. And we're gonna discuss that all throughout the video. All right, so here we are on the Create Music page of SoundRaw. So I'm gonna show you now how we're going to create some music. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the left-hand side here and check out these options. We have genre, we have mood, we have theme, we have length, we have tempo, and we have instruments, okay? So what I want to do, since we're making a lo-fi style song here, is I'm just gonna work with the genre. So I'm gonna go over to the right-hand side here and click on lo-fi hip-hop. And this is going to generate some options for us here. And it doesn't take very long. It should be up here in a second. Uh, there you go. So I'm not gonna work with the moon. I'm not gonna work with the theme, but I do care about the length. So I'm gonna click on this here. And you know, lo-fi songs are typically around two minutes in length here, but as mentioned earlier, we can't just create this and release it. We have to make some modifications to it. And for the purpose of this video, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna make this song one minute in length. And then it's gonna regenerate options for us here. Now, another thing to mention for lo-fi style music is it's very slow in tempo. It's around 70 to 90 BPM. So for tempo up here, I'm actually gonna remove normal and fast. So we only get slow. And now it's going back through and generating some new options for us. And then lastly, for instruments here, you can actually tell the AI, hey, I don't want these instruments in the songs that you create. However, I'm gonna leave them all for now and we'll see what we get. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through a couple of these on my own here, and I'm gonna pick out one that I want to showcase in this video, and then we're gonna modify it. So we'll be right back. All right, so I have settled here on number 006. This is the song artwork right here. This is the genre that we picked. These are some of the moods. The BPM is 75. The length of it currently is 106. And here's a picture of the waveform also shown down here. Now it is good when you find something that you like to go over to the right here and hard it so you don't lose it because every time something reloads in here, every time the AI is working, 006 is probably not gonna be the same as it was before, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, this is our arrangement down here. And what we can start with here is the energy. And let me explain this to you here. So we have low, we have medium, we have high, we have very high, and then back to low. So as you go up in these intensities, it's going to add more instruments and power to that section of the song. So this being the introduction, keeping this on low is probably a good idea. And then if it's still low, I would consider this still the intro here. I would probably not go very high right off the bat. It depends how we want to structure this. So I'm thinking we're going to do intro, verse, chorus, and then just end it since it's a minute long. So we should probably modify this here to make that work. So why don't we actually give this a listen and see what we're working with. And to hear it, we could simply hit the play button right here.
Okay, so I do like the second half here being low, because as you can see, it actually added some stuff to it, even being low. The AI knows kind of where we're at in the song. So I do want to leave the intro here alone, which I consider this part. I'm going to leave this alone here, but I feel like we need to extend this here. So I'm thinking we're going to make this maybe medium. So it's kind of like a B verse actually. So let's try that out. So let's play it again. Cool. So I'm actually digging that. And the reason I played it from the beginning is because I kind of wanted to hear it all in context. So we're going to go low, low, medium. We're going to go high. And I guess we can kind of go out with a bang. So we could probably make this very high. So let's see what that sounds like. And if you want to actually just hear a section, you could simply just click on it right here and play it. Cool, so I'm actually digging that. So basically we got our intro here. I'm considering this verse one here, the first low. I'm considering the medium kind of our B verse, like our pre-chorus. I'm considering high, the beginning of our chorus. And then sometimes I like the second half of the chorus be just a little bit, not different, but add something to it. So that's our very high part. And then we just end it. I think the outro is probably just gonna be essentially hitting a chord ending it. Let's hear it. Yeah, so it could be a little awkward, but you know we can always modify that um, if not inside a sound raw within our own DAW. Okay, so now we got a song here and we can honestly just export it here, load in our DAW, add vocals, add other instruments, whatever we wanna do to it, we can you know be done essentially. However, I wanna show you guys pro mode. So if you see over here on the right, we got pro mode. Let's turn that on. All right, so here's where it gets fun. This is pro mode, and it may look a little daunting off the bat, but it's actually very easy to work with. So our Pro Tools here are length, so we can shorten or lengthen the song here. We could change the BPM. We can also change our instruments here. We can change the key. Now the key is not specific. You can go between three different types here, and you can just play with it and see what you like. We're not gonna mess with that. And then this is pretty cool here. We can adjust the volumes of the individual tracks that make up this song, okay? So that is pretty nifty. Now, the thing you need to know about pro mode here is these colors. So if you see gray, like we see for the melody here, this means during these three sections right here, the melody is not playing, okay? And then the blue colors mean you have the sound there, but the darker they get, the more intense they are, and the lighter they are, the less intense they are, okay? So that's why you can see for our chorus over here, almost everything is a dark blue because we want to be powerful that part. Now the fills here, they have a couple extra intensity levels here, but the fills are basically saying, hey, coming out of the section, I wanna do a fill into the next section. And if you have it on the beginning of the section, it's usually gonna be some sort of a crash, okay? So that's how the fills work. So very simple, okay? So now let's actually make a few modifications here and finalize the song. So the first thing I wanna do is actually want to look at the instruments here. And I'm pretty happy with how the melody sounds. I'm pretty happy with how the bass sounds and also the drums. But I would like to hear a different backing track. And I'd like to try out the synth chord one here. Let's apply that. And let's hear what that sounds like on the intro first. So I'm digging that. Let's hear what it sounds like at the beginning of the chorus where the intensity kicks up. And let's also hear it at the end. Wow. 
I'm really digging that. It's kind of slowing down the song a little bit by putting that in there. It's making it a little bit more dreamy and what I'm going for. So loving that. So the last thing I want to do to this song to finalize it is I want to modify some of the fills and I want to add in a bass drop. Yes, you can actually do a bass drop in Sound Raw here, which is pretty cool. But let's start with the fills. So the song here starts with a crash with the instrument. So let me play that for you. So I don't really want that crash. I just want it to start with the instrument. So I'm gonna remove this fill right here, make it gray. Let's hear it now. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. So I do want a light fill going into verse one. And that is already light here, as you can see. Um, we don't need a very intense crash going in the verse one. So maybe we'll bring this down to also the lightest intensity. Let's hear that. So that's nice and chill. I am digging that. Now between our verse and pre-chorus, I don't really want to fill, so I'm gonna take this out. And we can actually leave a crash in here, but I think it needs to also be a light crash. And then going into our chorus, yes, we want a fill here. I think the one I heard in there I kind of liked, but I wanna add our bass drop here, okay? So all you have to do on a block here is right click and it creates this gradient. So that is essentially our bass drop. So check this out, I'm gonna play it for you. So I'm really digging that, because in lo-fi music, we don't necessarily use drops to set up for something huge, we do them to just break up a song. Now, that being said, we do have something huge coming after this drop, but the fill is kind of taking us into that part. And with having the bass drop out here and then the bass coming back in here at the chorus, it makes that explosion that much bigger. So that is mostly the modifications I want to make. So let's actually hear this song from the beginning and see what we ended up with. All right, so here we are on the Sound Raw website and we are on the pricing page. So the cool thing about Sound Raw is they let you try out their service 100% free. You can create unlimited songs, you can save those songs, you just can't download them or license them, okay? But you get to use all the features that Sound Raw has to offer and that will pretty much let you know if you want to get a pay plan or not, all right? So let's now talk about their first paid offering, which is the creator plan. And as you can see here, it is $16.99 a month if you pay for it annually up front. If you're gonna pay monthly, it's gonna be $19.99 a month, which is a little bit more. So if you want to utilize that discount, definitely get the annual plan. Now the creator plan is for people who want to use this music in the background of their YouTube videos, their podcasts, their gaming videos, pretty much it's meant for content creators, okay? Now, you don't want to create a lo-fi girl style video on YouTube and just have these songs play on repeat and expect to get royalties. You are gonna get busted, so definitely do not do that. 
That is not what this is for, okay? And it kind of tells you here basically all the stuff that you would want to use this type of music for. It's all listed right here. And it also says your don'ts down here, lo-fi girl style videos, okay? Now, the artist plan here, this is for music creators and it is $29.99 a month if you pay for it annually and it will be $39.99 a month if you do the actual monthly plan. Now, this is for, as I mentioned, music creators. You can create a full beat on here and then you can download it pop it into your DAW, record vocals to it, master it, and then release it, and it is 100% yours. You will get all the royalties for it. Essentially, you get the license and everything, okay? So that is pretty awesome. Now, the key, though, to what I just said there is that you have to modify it. You can't just take the actual song from SoundRaw and release it. That is a no-no, okay? So as long as you make some sort of modification to it, you'll be good to go. All right, so there you have it. That is my review on SoundRaw. And as you can see, it is very, very simple to create music, to modify it, and to download it. So as mentioned, this is a great service for content creators and also music artists. I would say it's probably best for content creators just because there's really no cons when it comes to them. The music that is created is very high quality and it'll be great for your B-roll footage, for background music, etc. You know, if you're a music artist, there are some limitations to it because when you download the song, of course, it's already mixed within here. You don't have individual tracks, so you can't, you know, put the drums and the bass separately into your DAW and, you know, mix it that way. So I would consider that a con. But honestly, I know a lot of artists that just buy beats from wherever and it's, you know, essentially just a two track and that's what you're getting from here. So this is pretty common with what's going on in the music industry today. So overall, I think SoundWorld is a great product and I think it's definitely worth checking out if you fit into any of these categories. So with that being said, if you did end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video when it comes out. And if you enjoyed this content, definitely check out my review slash tutorial on the Waves AI Mastering Engine. With that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.